Jeez, I didn't even come up with that roast. <laughs> that wasn't even he was trying to say it before I could. No, that was just, he just had to hit himself quick. Like a lot of people are gonna stick Dragoonity to the Dragoonity and from, the from the graveyard, negate activation. Yep, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a, a negate has come to Yu-Gi-Oh! Surprise, surprise! Welcome to Xalophony Plays. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss any of our other Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. You can even join my Discord linked below to take part in our community tournaments. After the video, make sure you go subscribe to my new Yu-Gi-Oh! channel for highlights and replays of decks that are played a little more seriously. There you'll find some of my deck lists I've used, as well as some current meta tournament winners and tricky combos to terrorize your friends. We have new replays up every day, so I'll see you there. Let's get this thing started. Hey, one and only Xalophony here with some new cards. You know we like dragons here on this channel, and some new Dragoonity cards just came out. Now, I won't be the one testing them myself. Mario is going to be taking that job. But I got another uh, pretty cool deck to test out pretty soon. We'll see how good that is. Anyway, I'm going to be running yeah. some Blue Eyes against it. Specifically, a really weird Blue Eyes Guard Dragon mix that I had from back in the day that was much better when Dark Matter Dragon and Agar Pain were still around. But, you know, things, things change in Yu-Gi-Oh! Anyway, what am I looking for here? Well, I'm looking for a Blue Eyes, a Blue Eyes, and most likely a Blue Eyes. Dang. <laughs> Alright, I'll choose this card. Yeah, it's so no. weird, it's like, it's so weird that because some cards allow you to actually choose randomly, and then some cards just automatically add it to your hand. Yeah, that one's interesting. That one allowed you to choose. Um, this all being said and done, I really don't have a lot to work with. I'm gonna use Melody of Awakening Dragons. I will toss uh, the blue eyes, <laughs> and I will get a blue eyes, and a third alternative. Uh, now let's see. You, you can't bring that one out, can you? Can't bring what? The other alternate eyes out? No, okay. alternative once a turn. Okay. Let's see. I don't think there's any, like, XE plays in this particular deck that are ideal. Um, yeah, this deck doesn't run um, a Harbinger, for example. And once again, if Dark Matter was still a thing, it would be crazy right now. But it unfortunately is not part of this deck. So, I think we're not going to use this card. We're just going to sit back and wait till next turn. Because none of my options are defensive right now. So, very uh, tepid start for myself. Let's see what the uh, Dragoonity can do. Yep. All right. plenty so of synchros, so it's right in your wheelhouse. Yep. Let's activate this new card, Dragoonity Glow. So no one has to load up. Always a good feeling. Yep. Dragoonity Glow allows me to send a level 5 or higher Dragoonity monster straight to the graveyard. All right. That's got to have a specific purpose in the deck, because I know you, there's definitely one you always want to send to the graveyard. Well, there's. I have two options. The... Uh, Mistletane, which is the Arma one, which is always one that uh, you always got to your hand and all that. Yeah. Or the new guy, and I think the reason is you want to send a new guy of either course. to your hand or your graveyard. So let's uh, normal summon. I uh, know. Stuff over what there. Do. Oh, okay. So let's normal summon ducks. Very good. Then send them to the graveyard to bring out the armor. All right. Mr. Uh, Tain. So then up activate, by switching out ducks. Activate the Dragoonity Lance. Activate its effect, detaching itself so that I can equip a different Dragoonity monster to it, like the Phallics. Ooh, from the deck, yeah. Well, and that's course. basic Dragoonity play, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, it's been a while since I've played some Dragoonity, at least pure, so. Mm-hmm. All right. We went for that. Uh Oh, do I already have a level? Oh, yeah, I already level yeah. eight. I get, if I had a potential, I could have brought out Borolode Savage Dragon. <laughs> yeah, ain't no links to see, though. Yeah, you got your six, you got your two. Of course, there's some guard dragons in this deck. In Makes this sense. deck as well. But that's not what I'm going for right now. Since I yeah. don't even think I have enough materials to go into it anyway. You would need a few play. additional summons, yeah. Mm hmm So, let's just go into the dragon. Romulus. Romulus. Alright, you can get your can... field card. Yep. 
Field card can send one from your hand to graveyard. Search up Dragoonity monsters. Real good stuff. Activate. Add a level four below Dragoonity monster. I'll discard the uh, Black Wing. Ooh. Okay. And add to my hand. Just essentially a free one-time summon from the graveyard right there. The uh, Dragoonity Coos? Coos. Yeah, you want to say course, but it's Coos. But let's bring out the new guy, actually. Oh, no. Banish two have... dragons or winged beasts from graveyard. Nice. Mm-hmm. It's pretty it's... juicy. Send these two away. Bring him out. All right. Yeah, and you can target and negate my effects. Um, I don't, you don't have, currently have any equip cards, though, so I won't lose any attack if you use that. Are you able to equip any of your cards to him, though? Uh, trying to look for that right now. Because that would set you up for some great success. Uh, let's see. It's allowing me to activate it, so I guess targeting it. Yeah, that'll just negate my effect. But it won't reduce my attack. Yeah. Can't lower it anymore. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, just because you didn't have another monster to equip. And you had to use that equip card to get yourself into this position. Yeah, and I'm just a hundred short. Yeah, I was about to say, Battleface, what are you doing here? <laughs> what right. you doing here? <laughs> yep. Uh... Oh, and I see, if you're able to kill some things with this thing, you can manage to uh, get some stuff equipped. So it stacks I equip up. Your, I equip your monster to him. To yeah, not only does that keep it out of my graveyard, but it gives you more minus thousand attack. Nice. Yep. Unfortunately... For this turn, it does not have the power. Oh, your monster still negated effects, actually. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that's a permanent. Oh, yep, nice just negates me. its effects. Nice for um, me. Yeah, no, I think that is straight up permanent. It's not even as long as it's on the field. Well, I mean, you know, already know what I got. We're going to go for another one of these. Um, I suppose we will use it. Because why not? See what happens if we try to destroy this guy. Oh, I'll just call by the grave real quick. Yeah, sure. Just gets blue eyes out of my grave. Funny enough, I did uh, uh, start off with the monster reborn, so just sending the blue eyes to the grave, I was like, yeah, I can bring him back. Uh, in this case, not so much. Uh, what else can I go for here? I can use these two and go into my own Romulus, um, but that's not going to be too huge for me. We can use this and get the Romulus from that, but I think we're going to use this boy. Guard Dragon Justicia. Let's do a nice little Crystron Hypergraphalbrax. No crazy advanced plays of it in this particular deck. But that'll get us out a new tuner. A new tuner that'll happen to have the power of getting us another blue eyes as soon as I send it away. Alright. And can I do anything fancy to get this turned into a new dragon? No, I think it's a very raw form of I just need another monster. Which I can do. Um, so I can manage to get some basic guard dragon plays. Um, Potentially, if you don't do? kill me this turn, I have a move. Okay, well, good luck with that. Uh, let's see, what shall I go for? Uh, ooh, we could do that, but I do need to use the Blue Eyes alternative. So, I will go and summon this boy. Simply so I can turn him into a Boral Sword Dragon. Ooh, or Skull Dread. Skull Dread sounds fun. Um, but do I want to use four pieces for a Skull Dread? Not entirely. But another summon from hand wouldn't hurt. I'm just going to go for a Boral Sword. We'll play as if we're going for, you know, the kill, which I guess in a duel you are. And then we can turn this into... Ooh. We can't turn it into that. I should have gone for that arrow first. Oh, well. We can, can you just... only do one attack this turn, then? Uh, well, no. I can do more. It's just Pistio will come out. That'll give me another blue oh, eyes full hand. guard dragon play. Dang it. No, it's not full. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah. Uh, if I went into Skull Dread, it would be full, just because I would have needed to get the arrows in the right spot. But now we'll just do this, and just to get another piece out, we will go for... We could do the Whitestone Legend to set ourselves up with the other Guard Dragon, um, and that's not a terrible idea. In fact, I think that is what I will do, just to have a setup play. Um, just because I'm trying to extend and mess around and see what I can go for. 
Uh, what can I special summon? Okay, yeah, just this guy and this guy. This is fine. We will go for an attack. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to start off with attacking uh, Pisty into that. Fantastic. We'll then attack with Boral Sword. We'll use the effect. And yeah, I don't really care too much about the extra 300 attack points, so we'll just flip yeah. him now. And that'll give you a chance to breathe. Yeah. Then again, I don't think Dragoonity can play off two cards. Well, that's the thing. If everything is correct, I think I have a, uh, I think I have a play. <laughs> I forgot I could do this. Yeah, this is going to be my end play. Um, burr, 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 burr. Sure. Are you ending off with an agate? Nope, just a little stoppage. That's all. Oh my god. Yeah, so the deck definitely didn't play to its uh, core strength. Being, um, I forgot how viable Skull was. I was, was going in this to deck. show off the big card that people are actually. I was going to tell you that was going to be. That people are saying are going to be worth a lot of money because of how good it is. But now maybe you should have told me. <laughs> I wanted to leave it a surprise. Oh, of course. I had Graham come out. Oh, because as, as long as he's in a hand or grave and I have monsters to banish. Oh, so we can do the same thing from grave. Nice. Yeah, and funny enough. I think he, yeah, he's supposed to be the, uh... Because then I could just normal summon this guy and gone into the level 12 right away. Oh, yeah, true. Alright. Ah, but you locked up my thing. No, Wait. so you're gonna have to spend your battle Hold phase. On. I oh. think I can cancel you out, actually. True. That is perfect. Yeah, it specifically works. You don't need to reduce his attack, and you just need to stop his effect, which is now stopped. You can do whatever you want, I assume. There you go. Okay. Oh, he's not a level. Oh my. Oh. I miss. I thought he. Was... I thought Arma was a level eight. Ah, okay. He's a level ten. Yeah, at least the standard Dragoonity one is, which I guess is what you're thinking and the... of. And the big guy is a level ten. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I still think I can do something. Yeah, you can still drop the majority of the field. Well, that is if I'm able to attack or realize, because I can go into him, and I know what Boral Soldier about to do, isn't he? That'll fly. Really? Yeah. Why did you let me kill it? So I can use my extra deck next turn. I feel like if you would have kept them, you would have had a for sure kill anyway for the duel. Yeah, I also, you know, I'd, I want to protect LP to see what else I can get out with him. Yeah, and then I guess if I try attacking LP yeah. to crash. That's the stoppage I'll do. <laughs> now, here's the interesting thing. Um, when an opponent's monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you take him over, right? But this guy's a pendulum. I'll be honest, mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't have the foresight to think that, oh, you won't be taking him over anyway. Uh, no, it's, he's a pendulum, he goes to the extra deck instead, so you don't get your additional effect off. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I'll add this one, but I don't think I'm going to be living next for the next turn anyway, so... No, 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 no. Unless... Just a sword by himself, unless you can drop him. I will drop him by using this. Ha! Huh? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, but I feel like even if I get rid of him, you're just going to, uh, yeah, go like this. I think that'll actually stop LP, because the timing of it. Yeah, it does. Burned. Anyway, I'm running a Blue Eyes deck, and I opened up with three alternatives, so... Did you really? No, I opened up with two, and then I searched the third, <laughs> just because <laughs> that's the card I had. <laughs> so, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. The luck on that on that needed i mean it's not ideal it's really not ideal but i mean it works out you had the power left to finish me off mm -hmm. still bad this guy doesn't have like a uh you know he takes no battle damage kind of deal yeah heavenly spheres is good for what it is not broken or anything just always a good little extra piece on top of everything else yeah so let me see i'll go second again mm -hmm. oh yikes okay that's a dirty hand I'll start by using Dragon Ravine. Dirty as in not letting me play no, kind of dirty? No, or? as in just not good for me. I will discard okay. a Return of the Dragon Lords, because why not? Actually, 
should have discarded that, but that's okay, I'm dumb. Then I think, ooh, no, I'm really dumb. That's fine. Dumb people deserve love too. Uh, <laughs> I will send to the graveyard with that. Let's see. Why else do you think I have a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I didn't even come up with that roast. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even he was trying to say it before I could. No, that was just, he just had to hit himself quick. I um, had to hit myself. Um, let's see if I send a normal to the graveyard. I think I can summon this, but I don't really have any other summons to do that being said. Well, I got this. But that's not really good. All the other stuff I have. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send Arc Brave and then see what I can get out of him. Or is not that how it works? I don't know. He has to already be in the graveyard, right? Yeah. Um, and I didn't send that to my graveyard. But, you know. I, yeah, totally messed that up. I will... On my turn! Really? It's not... I could have okay. done some things, but I just didn't see any big plays. Alright, well... Uh, and I completely fluked the one minor thing I was going to try, so... I mean, I just wanted to see you have a chance. I want to see what these things are capable of. All right, so I do that. Special summon using him into this one. Okay. Then I can attack, target my monster. The good yep. thing about it is, even though they have a dedicated Link monster, they you can still do their normal uh, secret oh, shenanigans. Special Again. In, yeah. The master rule updates and all that. Yeah, do you think that made the game better or so? I think it did. Um, obviously, it's broken and abused by uh, many decks, but also at the same time, it makes many, you know, other decks playable. So Very true. And I think that's the important thing, at least the way we do Yu-Gi-Oh. We don't like any of our decks to feel left out. Ah, uh, very true. All right, then so let's activate the Dragon Ravine. Very nice. These two who can combo up a bit. Send the Mist Valley to the grave. To send another card to the graveyard. And I think I know which card we we should see in there. The Arma. Yeah, absolutely. Send that right to the graveyard and you can summon it just like that. Huh, that didn't work. Ooh, okay. I'll look at that if you want to look at some of your other plays. Yeah, I was going to say the Mist Valley Baby Rock didn't work. When this uh, card is sent directly from the hand to the well, graveyard, you can special summon it. Yeah, that definitely wouldn't work, because it wasn't sent from hand to graveyard, was it? It was, yeah. I discarded it. Oh, oh. the word discard is probably yep. the key word you there. You send it, which, you know, obviously some of the cards do, but not that play particularly. But he can still go off, which is what I was expecting. Just got to banish two, and out he comes. Yeah, he seems to just be good in his own right. I don't think he's necessarily a combo maker, but he's just a good addition to the deck. Yeah, although I feel like there's probably a level 12 you can go into that we're just missing. Maybe. A lot of level 12s have very specific summoning methods and mechanics, though. True. You're very true on that. But I know there's a couple. It's just whether they'd be particularly good in the uh, setup or not. But hey, yeah. you got a little bit of that out now. Anything else to summon? Uh, not at the moment. Decent enough Need to preserve. Stuff. Need to preserve what's in the grave for next turn. Definitely. People are saying, like, the new guy. I'm, my goal for this video is to bring out the, the new Synchro. Alright. Oh, gosh, really? Um, he's not horrible. So if it's I send the, that, uh... that comes out for free. And then next turn I can send something else. If I send that, then I don't think anything happens, to be honest. Um, but then I can do that and then just bring that out for free. Yeah, a lot of real tepid plays out here. You know, yeah, we'll just drag around V and we're going to send the Goliath to the grave now, which I should have done in the first place, but it wasn't crucially important. And then also to the grave. Should I get myself a Blue Eyes? Um, should I get a Promenesis in there? Let's see. There's not a million things I can do out here. Let's no. do that. And then I suppose we will... You have, like... Do you have, like, two alternates in hand with no, like, blue eyes to summon no, off of it? No, it's the opposite. I have all the guard dragon-y stuff. Oh, but no, nothing to bounce off of them. Yeah. 
I should have done that as well. Oh well. So we're just gonna bring this out. Which is not the way I like to use them. Um, but off of that, what can we do? We can't really break your uh, big guy, which is a problem, which means he's gonna stack, which means we're gonna get to see what he does. Um, but that's not good for me. And I could go right into the uh, Amorphage Goliath, but once again, we saw that you know how to take it down. Yeah. So. Especially since I, this guy is pretty darn easy to bring out. Yeah, definitely. I guess that's why in all the decks I found, there's he's only at one copy because there's so many ways of like getting him onto the field easily by just sending him to the grave. Mm -hmm. And yeah, very simple, very lame play of just doing that. I managed to get rid of your field card, which is beautiful for you. Um, but that's about it. So you're going to be able to suck up one of these guys. Yeah, especially when I can do this. Ducks, activating his effect, bring out the phallix. Yep, we're going to see some traditional Dragoonity plays, I assume. Go yep. to the six. Uh, hold on. Okay. Negate that effects. I'm sure. But he also loses a thousand attack points. Yeah, because there's an equip now on the field. Yep. Now I activate his effect. Nice. Ooh, actually, hold on. Do this. Send away this one to bring out Garuda the Wind Spirit. Okay. Because that gives me level 10. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure just going into the six would get you there anyway. Because the way they climb, but... Didn't sure. want to risk it, honestly. Alright. But this is the new guy. This is the guy that people are saying is going to be... Like, something that a lot of people are going to stick Dragoonity to. Banish Dragoonity from the graveyard. Negate activation. Yep. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a, a negate has come to Yu-Gi-Oh! Surprise, surprise! <laughs> and if you see. do... And you straight up a banish is... when you destroy too. So it's real good. Yeah. Great control card. Very and nice. if he destroys a monster by battle, it just straight up banished. <laughs> yeah, that's what I just said. So it'll work uh, out nice. Yeah, which is all good for you. I think I know exactly the order of operations I would conduct here. Yeah, I'm going to banish away your Red Eyes Metal Dragon. Great. Um, ooh. So... Hmm, there's a Return of Dragon Lords in the graveyard here, but with that order, it's not going to do me a lot of good, so. It's not like I needed him in there anyway. Then I guess I'll destroy your Arc Oh, wait, no, that is, the, that is the order I was thinking of. Actually, no, that order just also works. Um, phew, sure, I might as well use it. <laughs> All I right. don't know what I'm going to do with the two cards I have at my disposal. And then after that, I'll end the turn. Yeah, because you just got negates for all for days yeah these two on their own it's like what do you, you have to have like multiple different outs to get rid of them mm -hmm. since that's there i got nothing uh well, well um there's no normal monsters in my graveyard to summon off that <laughs> all the blue eyes out at the end of the turn oh yeah promenesis does get to play maybe i do have some wasn't even a, it was like my mind was saying, bait him, make him cancel that. And now I'm thinking, it's like, well, I don't think it would have gotten me anything crazy anyway. <laughs> All right, that can, uh, let's see, target a blue eyes in my graveyard, add it to my hand. That's not necessary. All right, let's go for one of these boys. We don't have plays. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> it wouldn't have done anything anyway. Yeah. All right, now we got to see these guys use their force. True, but you also had had a bad hand to get for yeah. me to get to this point too. Yeah, with our grave going to the graveyard, I can actually use it. However, it's a new turn. Yep. Banish. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And of course, the one you're constantly stocking up your materials for that. Yeah. Another thing is, I just realized. Mm -hmm. One deck that you definitely don't want this deck to face against, of course. Like many others, I like, say that banish a lot. Thunder dragons that still yeah. pretty that rear their head every once in a while. True. Alrighty. 
just activated. <laughs> Don't have anything to equip. Yep. Alright, let's attack. Gonna leave you on the cusp of 200. Can we see that let's effect going to play? Actually. We can, good. I wanted to see that. Nice. And then if I did have a monster left, you can actually weaken him now. Yeah. Um, the only thing is... It does hit your grave first, though, so I'm assuming, like, if you have any destruction effects that hit the graveyard first, you do yeah, get depending on the card. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. something to keep an eye out for. All right, let's go for a third round. Finally, I can go round two. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. What? There's a lot of spells here. There's a lot of spells. Okay. Your move. guess we gotta we just gotta draw level eight and trade it in that's what that's what needs to happen just what we gotta do okay yeah. any of my level eight dragons which there's plenty of in the deck can save this hand yeah but and... honestly with that guy i think dragoonity might be a first turn deck possibly yeah you're not wrong on there. So we'll okay. see. Now you can easily hit the six. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which is the level six I need to go because one thing I realized, uh, I activated okay. a Phalanx effect, right? That's mm -hmm. a once per turn I get the special summon him to do this. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them have, oh, you can equip one level three below Dragoonity monster to this after this. Yeah. Then I realized that... I know there's something that happens that lets you chain stuff together and get easy summons out. But I think it's again, been a while. I think it's yeah, a green same. guy, if that color helps at all. There is a uh, green guy, but that's the one I was talking about was the... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Was the... Oh, no, the green guy is a level 8. Okay, so that's the play after. Got it. Fair mm -hmm. enough. But the thing about the uh, phalanx is... He can only use his uh, own special summon effect to once per turn. Yeah. So I couldn't abuse that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I can add a card. Oh, and you had already used a special summon? Yeah, I guess you could have used Senatus instead, but I guess you probably didn't have another Dragoonity card in hand. There comes the Qs. Goodbye, baby rock. Now you have... You, I discarded you before. Um, let's see. What was the specific effect that went down? Then discard. Yeah, I don't know. I discarded him before using the field spell. Yeah, maybe it means something. <sighs> it's just weird to me. Uh, comments will know. Yeah, right, comments will so know. Oh, wrong. because he's not because he's not a uh, dragoonity. I cannot use him or dragon tuner, I should say, to go into the next one, which would be the green one. Yeah. But used for certain things. I can bring out something that's going to annoy you. Feels now. What's coming out? Yeah, that's annoying. All right. Yep. A little bit of crystal wing. Yeah, with the hand I'm running. <laughs> yeah, that fry seals it. I'll be honest. Oh, does it? Dip. Oh, hold on. Okay. Do you have a way out? Let's see. Maybe. I am going to start by activating Melody of Awakening Dragon. And to the graveyard, I will send... Call by the grave. Get these things. Let's see. Let's see. So we can get this move in, and that can force that. Yeah. We'll do that. Oh, I think I know what you're gonna do to force it. Yep. Yep. I gotta. So I think I can play now. <laughs> Yikes, though. Um, although. Well, I. Sure, you still have like a way of getting around that. Yeah, just because you know I was able to get my spell off. I think we can play. Um, so that trading gets me something. We also got a dragon ravine while we're out here, so that's kind of cool. Um, that can be used on that, but I also only have one normal summon. Ooh, okay, so I need a way to get another level 8 to the field. Um, can I do that if I gain the Dragon Ravine? 
No, I don't think so. Hmm. Dragon Ravine can get me another thing for trade-in, which could yield me further plays. But I could also use it to set myself up. Because I could send that and get a free summon out here. But then, yeah, after that, I would have nothing. So, yeah, we're no way. Okay, I know my plan. Return the Dragon Lords, bring this boy out. Then we will normal summon Guard Dragon Justicia. Now, I think I can just pop you and be done with it, because you can only use the quick effect once a turn, right? Uh, yeah. So we'll just do that. I was thinking annoying... of stealing him and all that, but that's fine. Yeah, yeah. the annoying thing about it is, like... If I bring my boy back, old... I can use him again. Yeah, I remember in the old ruling, if your thing got negated, you... it, the once return thing would go off. But since it never went off, and you brought it back... Mm -hmm. it's... Well, that's no Alternative's always been able to do that. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if it's specifically on the card, but I know that's, like, half the point of this deck, that you can do, like, four alternative pops in the turn. All right, now we can go into LP. And now that that is in the graveyard, we get a blue eyes. And now that that is granted us a blue eyes, we can use the extra trade in that we drew. And we got an additional return of the Dragon Lords as well. But we also started off with World Legacy Guard Dragon. So we can target the White Stone of Legend yet again. And special summon it over to here. There we go. Jeez, that, that was a string I had to pull together. Yeah. And look at that. I get a... Oh, did I already burn through all my blue eyes? Yikes, yes I did. Unfortunate. Um, still, we will be able to use LP. LP can now get the uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, who has been uh, ratted, I believe, so he's not as broken as he once was, because I can only do this once now. Yeah, or well, before you could do it, like, a few times, I believe. As, as long as you kept... Same thing with alternative. I just punched my fan. As long as you put him in the graveyard, pull him back, <laughs> then he can keep on coming out. Um, but yeah, we'll go into that, and then what is our play after that? I guess I'll go with the standard play, even though it's not the same without Red Eyes Darkness Metal. We will special summon, um, just to show it off. We'll bring out the Blue Eyes alternative, and then... So the idea of this deck, just for those who haven't seen this in a long time, yes, I could attack right now and go for game. Um, but instead, we will go into... <laughs> I could also link God Dragon. I threw him in the deck because I needed to fill something. Uh, but you can turn these cards into a nice little skull dread use skull dreads effect and the usual thing is you search a bunch of uh, blue eyes white dragons to your hand that you can shuffle into your deck then continue to cycle the um then continue to just pull them to your hand um either way i have some unexpected dies which are completely unnecessary here so that's perfectly fine and we also have garmities we have monster reborn and return of the dragon lords and this um recovery off pisty so, we're going to do some interesting things here. Uh, let's see. What do we want to bring out? So, this can uh, bring back this. Uh, I guess it's still a good play to do. So, out that comes. Voila. Big plays. <laughs> <laughs> then we can... Monster. Yeah, this is the point where you would have been able to use it again, huh? Yes, exactly. Um, once again, this is... Is it the third or... No, this is the fourth hit of a blue eyes alternative to field if you had monsters i could keep doing it wait can he do this again oh what well, maybe i was thinking of something else i don't know um but then we will simply go for a regular blue eyes to the field maybe sure why not and then we will let's see can i just summon this guy yeah why not we'll do this and we'll put out garmities to the field Forgive me for spreading some misinformation. Um, then... Sure. Link God Dragon. Which does not get boosted because it's unaffected. We will now Monster Reborn. Bringing this guy back. And let's hit the uh, fourth time of an alternative to the field, shall we? Alright. And I think that's all I got. <laughs> It's not you're your sure. Uh, Link God Dragon. You sure you got more to do? <laughs> oh, Ooh, you're right. I could have. I could have used this. Moved the Link God Dragon over to. Oh no, I can't because he's on a. You know, I did Never. say it. I do remember something actually at the beginning when Links first came out. 
Mm -hmm. I do remember saying, there's gotta be a card eventually that's gonna have like arrows pointing in all directions except for like that. Link God's pretty close. <laughs> uh, five headed. Actually, it's not Link God. Yeah, anymore, it's five headed just... Link Dragon now, you're right. True. So he's no longer a God card. No, unfortunately not. The mm -hmm. English translations ruin everything. <laughs> yep. But there it is. Obviously, a Dragoonity have a lot of potential. I really do like the new card. Um,. If that's all set up properly and uh, he gets to come out super consistently, I think that'll be very annoying. Um, up to the same level that, say, you know, Black Wings, for example, are annoying to get over their boss monster. So that's pretty cool. And obviously, Dragoonity can still work with a bunch of other things, whether they're Dragon or just cards that banish. So, some neat stuff, some good additions to Yu Gi Oh! But if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe so you don't miss anything else, and we will see you next time. See ya, folks.